Well, hello again and welcome back to my studio. This is a follow-up to my video about painting a large painting. Since I've committed myself to putting up these follow-ups and uh, recording the progress of this larger painting, I thought it's time to show you what I've been doing. I've had another go at the painting in the past uh, week, two sessions totaling about four hours of work. Trying to really fix up composition and get the light moving around, a bit of three-dimensionality as well, and just trying to figure out the, the light a bit more. So let me show you what I mean, and you can see what is taking so long. <laughs> I suppose not really taking a long time because this is just part of the deal to work on a painting like this. Well, let's have a have a look. All right, so as you can see, it does look a bit different compared to the last uh, progress video I showed you when I was just doing the basic blocking in. But the biggest issue for me was trying to get a composition that had a bit more space over here, a more dark area, as opposed to having the, the prickly pear plants everywhere sort of uniform, that was going to create a bit too much of a two-dimensional space. I've removed some over here and I'm actually just working over here, some foliage to cover things up getting a bit more depth and mystery into the shadows of here. And then a few more of the plants on this side, the sort of focal area and then receding away a bit. And then working out the, the light, trying to get light, dark and light behind these of here to create a three dimensional feel and also a stronger directional light lot warmer in the foreground and this will warm up some more as well get more light filled and then the sky behind is also indicating some strong sort of golden hour light some warm light so these over here will develop in a bit more detail these over here and over here will be softer edged obviously get the eye to look at this more and then move around into the shadow so that's it and uh, this is still wet we'll carry on working on this and i would say this is probably about middle of the way towards the end it gets really time consuming with more layers and trying to put in detail which doesn't look like too much detail the focus is always on the light and these touches are going to become very important. Another thing is also getting colors moving around. Some of these oranges, you've got to bring them up here. Some of the blues, they've got to find their way into the foreground as well. And that way you get a harmony. Okay, that's a quick look at the progress so far. And hopefully it's giving you some idea of what's all involved with doing a larger painting. Maybe you've done some before and you want to revisit or you're planning on starting a larger version. You just got to give yourself that time and space to work it out. And uh, there's no particular time point. You just progress until you've said what you need to say with your painting. Okay, we will have a follow up in a couple of weeks time and see where we are. Until then, happy painting. Mm -hmm. 